talking. A serious issue. There are three different kinds of stalkers. <laughs> Intimate partner stalkers, delusional stalkers, and vengeful stalkers. First, we're going to talk about intimate partner stalkers. Intimate partner stalkers are typically known as a guy who just can't let go. These are most often men who refuse to believe that a relationship has really ended. Often, other people, even the victims, feel sorry for them. But they shouldn't. Studies show that the vast majority of these stalkers are not sympathetic, lonely people who are still hopelessly in love, but were in fact emotionally abusive and controlling during the relationship. Many have criminal histories unrelated to stalking. Well over half of stalkers fall into this former intimate partner stalking category. Here's an example of intimate partner stalking. He loves me, he just doesn't know it. <laughs> What? I love you. I love you. Take me back. I love you. Stop calling me. Hello? Bill? Are you oh. okay? Hey. I don't know. Lori just won't stop calling me. She's driving me crazy. But she does love you though, Bill. You gotta give her that. I don't know. She she says she loves me, but it's it scares me and I don't know. I was I was reading about it online it's, whole intimate partner stalking thing, it's, it really, everything really fits, just. Bill, I'm sure you're just, you're overthinking things. Laura is not stalking you. Laura loves you, but she's not stalking you. I gotta go. What are you doing here? Bill, take me back! No. <laughs> I, I broke up with you. That's it. We're done. No! Get out! No! The next kind of stalking we're going to talk about is vengeful stalking. Vengeful, vengeful stalkers are stalkers who stalk because they want to get revenge. These stalkers become angry with their victims over something slight, real, or imagined. A lot. This most happens with ex, when ex-employees stalk their bosses because they fired them. For the most part, vengeful stalkers stop to get even. Here's an example. Catherine, we gotta talk. What's up? Uh, lately, you know, it's been fun having you here working with us, but you're not really a people person. I mean, for God's sake, you bit someone last oh, week. Please. So what? I'm gonna have to, you know, let you go. Get your stuff out of here by 3 o'clock today, okay? You're firing me? Yeah. See ya. This isn't over. You can't do this to me. Run! Okay. Stupid! That voice sounds oddly familiar. Who put it? Ah, uh, long hard day at work. Just sit back and relax. Hi. How'd you get in here? Because I need my job back. But you're you're a psycho. I'm not giving you your job back. Am I a psycho? Am I? <laughs> okay, you can have the job back. That's not enough. It's not enough. The, the last category of stalking is delusional stalkers. Delusional stalkers fre frequently have had little, if any, contact with their victims. They may have had major mental illness like schizophrenia or manic depression. What they all have in common is 
is some false belief that keeps them tied to their victims. This type of, these type of stalkers actually believe, believe that they are having a relationship with their victim, even though they might have never met. Here's an example of delusional stalking. Hi. Hi. I'm watching you. Oh, well, that's nice. Yeah. Ain't it though? Um, it's kind of cold. Okay. I'm still watching you. I want to be you. Where are you at? I'm nowhere, but I'm watching you. Whatever. Come on. You hate I'm still watching you. But I still left my ringtone. Hi. 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 I want to be you. Why? I want to be just like you. Why? I don't know. I just want to be you. Uh, I just want to be you. Uh, <laughs>